What's going on, Pro Cutters? So today, we've got a reverse osmosis drinking water system that we're gonna install here in the Tennessee Tiny Homestead, which is my personal house. So we got this off Amazon, <clears throat> APEC water drinking, or water drinking water system. And it's got a website here, freedrinkingwater.com. Uh -huh. No affiliate paid for this with our own money so without further ado let's get this thing unboxed first things first got your paperwork got the filter cartridge housings it comes with its own separate faucet but we're not going to be using this because we don't have an extra hole in our sink so that'll be set to the side and then you've got your mounting bracket and your other three stages of filters and you've got a holding tank hoses wrenches for the filters some teflon tape and some other mounting hardware okay so the first thing we're going to do is put our filters on take all the paperwork out comes pre with some debris in there so i'm going to go ahead and rinse that out so I've got the first filter housing rinsed out and the first stage is going to be your sediment filter. That goes in there like so. That's stage one. All right, and then stage two is 10 micron filter. And then there's actually, stage two and three are actually the same. And again, same with this one, I'm just giving it a little pre-rinse because it has some debris in there from shipping and manufacturing. All right, and then there's an O-ring. So you make sure your O-ring is seated in there <clears throat> this is for removing chlorine taste and odor reduction it's a coconut based carbon block 10 inch industry standard size filter and it doesn't matter which direction it goes so just put that on there hand tight for now and then your third stage is just a redundancy it's the same filter as the other one again just giving my housing a little pre-rinse okay so it looks like you might want to uh, pre-flush these filters pull this one back off so I can rinse it out So then you get your filter wrench. Snug them up. Now I've got my stage one, two, and three filters installed. And this is the ROES PH75. It is a six stage reverse osmosis system. It does complete filtration and then it puts a little alkaline and calcium back in the water because you want that for good healthy drinking water. Now you're going to want to clear out everything under your sink so you can find the best space 
to mount your unit and you also need room to mount your holding tank so with a lot of grunting and groaning I've marked the top corner of my RO unit and then I put a line across with a level and then measured for my holes and marked the cross section now I can go ahead and put some mounting screws in now the RO unit is mounted I had to disconnect the top three stages to be able to get in there easier but now we can go ahead and start the plumbing with the RO system mounted in place the next thing we're going to do is make sure our water supplies are turned off and then you can unscrew the supply lines for your faucet and remove your faucet uh, in this case I need to remove mine because I'm upgrading it to one that has the drinking water portion on it so that's the next thing I'll do and then you can see the hardware up there for the faucet so we'll remove all that and get this old faucet out of the way more grunting and groaning I've got the old faucet out and I've added the adapter supplied with the RO kit that has the extra shutoff valve to separate the water. Now we're going to take and from the water in outlet which is here we'll go up to here with our red hose. All right, so to hook the supply line hose up, you take your silver collar, put that on, and then you have your plastic collar, and you put that on. Then you've got a little nipple that goes into the end. And now this can all get put onto the valve. <coughs> And tighten down that's tightened down now we can put our new faucet into place now the faucet is hooked back up the only thing left to do now is to plumb this special one into the RO unit hopefully it came with an adapter now I've got the black supply line there is a 90 degree adapter that came with the faucet and that plugs right into the RO. You need to put a ball valve onto your water tank. Just put a little Teflon tape on the threads and then go ahead and screw on the supplied ball valve until it's good and snug. All right, there you go. And then you've got a little thing where it can sit in. There's some legs on the bottom that kind of lock it into place there. And that'll sit in there like that. And then you'll hook your yellow line from here into the RO system. So now the last thing I need to do is hook up the RO waste into the sewer drain and then go ahead and turn on the water and check for leaks and to plumb your wastewater drain into your sink drain you use the supplied saddle and I'm gonna put mine right here that's where it'll fit so you're gonna to need to drill a quarter inch hole into your drain then apply this little foam rubber gasket around the hole and bolt your saddle into place. So the hole is drilled, the piece of foam rubber is installed, it's just got a self-adhesive sticky back to it. And then the next thing you're going to do is bolt the saddle into place and it comes with the bolts as well and on the back of this one you can see it just the bolt holds right in there the nut rather all right so we've got no leaks on the hot or cold for the faucet 
Now I'm letting the RO system fill up. <clears throat> and just like every other plumbing job, you just want to crack open your valve just a little bit. You don't want to give it full throttle while it's filling up the system. And you can see here how I have that saddle in place for the wastewater. Tank, I've got, let's see, is this open? This is closed, this is open, okay. So we've got our tank open. The yellow is plumbed in. And you can hear it. It's gotta fill stage one, stage two, stage three, and then it starts working its way through the RO membrane, which is stage four. And then once it, that gets filled, then it'll start filling this tank. And then I'm guessing once that's full, it'll stop. And then when you turn your faucet on, it'll come back through the tank through stage five, which is another carbon filter. And finally into stage six, which adds alkalinity and calcium back into the water to give you the best possible drinking water. I had a slight leak on the valve on the top of my tank. I just had to tighten it up and that solved that problem. And I've gone ahead and laid the tank down on its side. That way we'll have a little bit more room in here to put the cleaning supplies and trash bags and whatnot back in. <clears throat> mounted the paper towel roll here vertically it was horizontal in here before but now we've had to mount it vertically everything is set and then you could see we have our regular water and then the drinking water comes out of there I'm excited to put it to the test to see the taste difference of the water. Hey, what's going on, Pro Cutters? So here it is, putting my reverse osmosis drinking water system to the test. And uh, you can see it's crystal clear. And damn, that is some good water. So get you a reverse osmosis drinking water system for your house. Until the next time, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. Love you guys.